Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a great week. Excuse this horrible mess. Like, I feel atrocious. First of all, I have gone off the pill and my skin is insane. Look at this. And for some reason, it's just spreading like a wildfire. I never get pimples on this side and I've got like big pimples and my dark under eye circles are horrible and my hair hasn't been washed. Rego starting to come through. The only thing nice about me is my nails and my jewelry. This is a reality of how I look like sometimes and you guys know like obviously on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok I'm the best presented version of myself and today I'm gonna do a video on how to catfish people because I feel like some days I am that person. I go looking like this to a way better version of myself. So in today's video I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to do your makeup flawlessly on fleek how to like enhance your features and how to feel good on the outside because for me sometimes if I feel good on the outside I feel a little bit better on the inside by the way before I get into the video I wanted to mention Anna Luisa again as you guys know I have been collaborating with them for the last year they are my favorite jewelry company I wear their earrings all the time as you can see I've got like all of the earrings in this side. I absolutely love these ones. These are called Paris and all of these ones are so cute. I've got like um, one up here. It's like a hoop but uh, just a stud at the same time and then I've got an ear cuff and I've got this cute bracelet on. It is a butterfly. I got this in one of my last collaborations. It is so dainty and fine and so cute. This is called Mariposa. And the latest one in my collection is this one I'm wearing now. It's another cute butterfly, so it matches this bracelet. I love fine dainty chains. Look how like shiny it is. All of them are 14 karat gold plated, like all of the earrings and stuff and the bracelets and the rings. I love this set. Look at that. Um, it's got like an A on the little link here and then you can like adjust it to make it smaller or bigger. And by the way, this necklace is called so yes, I hope I'm saying that okay. I've gotten so many of my family and friends into Anna Luisa jewelry um, and it is what I gifted all my bridesmaids for our wedding. They had all Anna Luisa earrings and necklaces and it was just stunning. But they come in these cute little bags here. Everything is sustainable and made out of recycled materials. They're carbon neutral. Everything they make comes in small batches, so they're being good for the planet. All of their packaging is made from 100% recycled paper, which is really cool. And I love the little bags. So Mother's Day is on the 8th of May on the Sunday here in New Zealand. So Mother's Day is coming up so soon. And just so you know, they are doing a buy one, get one 40% off sale at the moment for Mother's Day. So you can buy one thing for yourself and one thing for Mother's Day and that's 40% off so I will leave my link to their website down below in the description box so go and check it out. You can also use the code Alicia10 for 10% off but um, with that buy one get one 40% off sale that's like such a good deal. I always like spoiling my mum on Mother's Day because she means so much to me. She has raised us three girls so well and she'll do anything for us like she's such a kind and caring mum and I feel like Mother's Day is a good day just to celebrate your mum and make her feel special um, and just make her feel loved and I thought gifting something on Mother's Day or just showing a really kind gesture or thought is so important um, to make her feel special and I always always give mum something every year for Mother's Day but the ultimate gift is honestly jewelry. My mum is obsessed with jewelry. You'll always see her wearing earrings, necklaces, bracelets. She always buys jewelry. It's like her obsession and what mum doesn't love jewelry? I reckon this is such a cool gift because Anna Luisa, it's 14 karat gold plated. It's hyperallergenic. They've got a 365 day warranty if it tarnishes, but they don't tarnish. Like I wear these earrings 24 seven, like I sleep in them and they don't tarnish. Um, and they just stay beautiful and shiny and gold. And they've got so many amazing on-trend styles on their website. They also have gift boxes at the moment, so I thought this was perfect for mum. I'm not wearing it at the moment because this is a gift for her. She is going to love this so much. Like, I already know she's going to love it because she's obsessed with jewellery. But look how cool this is. This is amazing. They do these really cool gift boxes. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, mum's going to love this. I love this so much. Look how pretty this is. This is like stunning. Perfect for events or special occasions or date night. 
um, or she can just wear it to feel a little bit glam and special. I love how these gift boxes come and they come with earrings and a necklace so that is so worth it. So this one in particular that I chose for mum is called the Elise gift set. They have so many cool things but I thought this one was cool because you get earrings and a necklace and it just makes it even more special um, and there's such a good sale on everything at the moment um, or that buy one get one 40% off for Mother's Day which I think is cool because you can't help but wanting something for yourself when you go on that website as well it's good to feel special yourself so I know mum is gonna absolutely love this I'm gonna gift this to her and I don't even need to wrap it up like I feel like that already looks so nice so yeah go and check out Anna Luisa and their buy one get one 40% off sale I know you guys will absolutely love it um like I said I'll leave the link down below in my description and go and spoil your your mum for Mother's Day and there's still a lot of time right now to go and buy something. Shipping is really awesome as well. These get to me like within a few days and I'm from New Zealand so that is awesome. So anyway if you want to see how I catfish this face and like transform my makeup then just keep on watching. So the first thing I use is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Makeup Primer. Um, I reckon this one is so good, um, it just does everything you need it to and you need to moisturise and like scrub your face the night before doing good makeup because it will make your skin nice and smooth. I didn't scrub my face before doing makeup but I'm going to make sure I moisturise really well because I'm feeling really dry at the moment. The one I've been loving at the moment, it is so good, this foundation is called the NARS light reflecting foundation and this is in the shade stromboli this is amazing like i really like this foundation it just looks nice it's flawless it lasts for ages um and i've never used this one before but this one is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation y385 as you can see this one is like slightly darker so i'm gonna mix like a few pumps of this one in I bought this one from Sephora in America like five years ago so I just take a few pumps and just kind of put it on with my finger. I'm just gonna like quickly show you the steps and then quickly do it and then like skip um, some parts of the video just so like you're not watching me do my makeup for like a bloody hour. So a concealer I've been loving is the Benefit Bright On Concealer. This is so hydrating and it doesn't crease and it just looks so good on the skin and I love the shade it's not like super light but I layer on two concealers you guys are probably like oh my gosh crease crease face but not with this concealer like it doesn't crease up for me I don't know it just it works really well once the concealer's been sitting for like a minute because that makes the concealer more full coverage but once it's been sitting for a minute you just want to blend it out and up to like lift the face look at that stunning you can see that nice blend but yeah this just like brightens and it like reflects the light so it almost like you can see it in here it like reflects the light so it like takes away from your dark under eye circles because it's like reflecting light I don't know the next product is the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is a matte finish so you don't have to leave it for too long but this is just to really brighten this is like the whitest concealer i could find get something that's like five shades lighter than your skin tone okay so i found this concealer through sachin who did my wedding makeup and he used this and like three other shades on me he like mixed them together i thought it was so stunning and like so brightening so you don't want to pack this on though you just want to put it like in these areas here just to really hide the dark under eye circles and to brighten up that corner and to straighten your nose what I do is I literally just draw a straight line okay so after I've let that sit for like a few minutes I just want to go in and blend it out oh no it's gonna ruin my makeup I took it too long to blend this out my partner was just bloody talking to me on the phone just now <coughs> Okay, it's like really full coverage when you let that sit for a little bit, but it's a matte concealer, so you don't want to let it sit too long, otherwise you will be like staining your face. <laughs> After you brighten your under eyes, you want to take a good powder. I really recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one's in the shade Fair. As you can see, I 
use this a lot and I love it. Pack your concealer down again so it's not like creased because if it's creased you're technically setting your creases and you want to take a powder puff because this works best and you want to just press the powder like into the skin and make sure you do your eyelid as well because it sets it and make sure it doesn't crease and you want to do this side as well so the powder puff just like really pushes it in your skin the brush just like smears it around okay so now for contour i'm taking the charlotte tilbury hollywood contour wand and um, this is in the shade fair to medium okay so you want to work in small sections so when you do your cheekbones do only a little bit and do it higher than you normally would and take a dome brush this one is from what is it morphe it's the m439 brush and i'm blending that in remember we're gonna bronze the crap out of our face as well this is just to create like a shadow and really like highlight those cheekbones do, 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 do. I wish it didn't dry so fast because like you just have to be really speedy with this but otherwise it is beautiful anyway we're gonna do our jaw because I love a sharp jaw contour look at that that mm. it so does a difference I just like swipe it along my jawline and then up here just so you know I am crazy with blush blush makes such a good difference um, I use like four products um, so I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm I haven't used this for a little while but when I do it's always beautiful so I'm going to tap some in round here and then tap some in round here just really high up on the cheekbones that don't come like in this area. I'm, I'm showing you my like everyday glam that I always do that I think makes such a difference to somebody's face. Like I can't get over how much like I change <laughs> with the makeup done. So now I take this lipstick. This is Lasting Color Collection in Sweet Tart number 8. I don't even know if they sell this brand anymore, but um, if they don't, just get something like that's hot pink and muted. Take your beauty blender, and I literally, like, color the lipstick on the beauty blender like that. I, know, I don't know if many people do this. I learned this technique from Kyle Fleek. Um, he was on Glow Up as well. Um and he is doing so well on TikTok but he taught me to use a lipstick as a blush and I couldn't believe it I was like oh my gosh that is such a good idea so as you can see it like just amplifies the blush and I want to make sure that I take this lipstick across my nose as well I don't take the Charlotte Tilbury one across the nose because it's shiny um but I learned this technique. This like gives you a cuter nose and this makes it look like the Instagram filter. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Glow Bronzer. This is one of my favorite products from their line. As you can see, it is well loved. They do have a standard Hula Bronzer, but I like the Glow one. And really pack the bronzer around. I used to never do this, but like in all the filters, it makes you like slightly more tanned. And this just really shapes your face like... I think it looks like a beautiful contoured rainbow. <laughs> now I'll zoom you guys in for the nose contour. My nose is very crooked and not great and I can't breathe through it so I need to go to a specialist and I'm going to get it checked out and who knows I might need a septoplasty. And then I take this small fine brush. This is just something from Spotlight. It's like a paintbrush and then I just draw a line across here because it makes it look like it's like a cute uplifted nose I don't know now I'm taking a white eyeshadow so I'm just taking the NYX whipped cream hot singles eyeshadow um, and I take a small brush I feel like snatch contour like so helps with looking so different like yeah a good nose routine i had some highlight on this side look at that it's already straightening up my nose this is insane i just do like little things to just straighten it out i don't know you guys don't have to go to this extreme but 
I don't know if you can like see the difference. <laughs> so to finish off the nose contour, I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I've got so many highlighters, but look at this. That's how much I love this one. I take a small brush and I just do like a really highlighted dot way higher than my tip usually is. Just here. And I just kind of blend that in with my finger. And then I bring some highlighter just like literally down the center here. So now I'm using that highlighter and I'm putting that on the really high points of my face. I love a good glow. It like just transforms you and I put some on my chin. And I put like some up here on my forehead because it like lightens it up a bit. And I just really love a glowy face. Like I know it just makes you look healthy and not so like powdery. So next I do the powder blush on top of this blush. I know you guys are probably like that's so much but it's what I like to do. I love using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Ginger, Bringe, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This one is really beautiful. As you can see I use it a lot as well. This one is really glowy and um, it just adds even more pink to the cheeks. So I just keep this one on the high points of my face. Then the fourth blush I use is the MAC Peony Petal Powder Blush. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, you don't even need that much, but I swear it makes a difference. This one's like really pink. And I use this one like kind of in this area. And they say like when you mix pink with your under eyes, that's what like the Kardashians do. And I swear it makes a difference. Like just this color and then kind of putting it around here and across the nose. So this is the Wet n Wild Brow Cessif Brow Shaping Gel. Um, mine is like running out. I'm just gonna brush my hairs up and this tints them a little bit. I feel like brows make such a difference as well to your overall look so make sure you spend a little bit of time on them. Don't make them look like sharpie brows. It is never flattering. Just do like a nice soft brow like in the front make sure it's feathered and then try and get them as even as possible and if you do that then any brow shape will look good. So also for brows I figured that when you pluck the end of your tail as you can see mine just stops right here I plucked the end um, because you can like really extend it out this way and give yourself like a fox eye lift kind of thing. So I'm using the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in number three. Um, and this Morphe Madison Bear angled brush, it came in the set. I don't think they stock these anymore, but just find like a angled brush. And what I like to do is extend the brow outways instead of downways like I usually would. And I feel like this makes such a big difference to your eyebrow. And your whole face, because it like lifts your face. Make sure to keep up with the feathered look and I just sometimes go on with this and fill in my eyebrows, wherever there's like blonde hairs, I just kind of take it through. So I'm just using little flicky strokes, so you can never go wrong if you use like little just flicking strokes because then you won't, your eyebrows won't look like fake or anything. I don't carve out my full brow but I have been doing it a little bit more lately because I can see it makes a difference. So I'm just grabbing like a um, angled like flat brush. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. And what I like to do is carve out the bottom edge and really fling it out. And this is just going to really elongate the brow and give like a nice lifted look. So now I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one is amazing. I use this all the time. And you want to take a dry beauty blender. This one's from Wet n Wild. I really like it. It's really squishy as well. So really good if you're like on a budget. And you just want to take your powder and this helps like contour the nose but also really brightens up the under eyes as well. So I always do this before the... Um, eyeshadow just so I don't ruin it. This helps brighten the under eye and hides the dark under eye circles. It makes it look like you've got a filter. I really like this technique. This is something different that I've been doing. 
Like I stopped baking for a while. I can't believe I did though because this is the thing that really stopped my creasing from happening. You can do the powder like this. Um, if you want like a more like sharp jawline look. So I take a white powder. So this is the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder in Ghost Finish. Um, so it looks like this. This is really affordable as well. I got this from Farmers. Um, and I take a little bit of powder in the lid. Like, I don't know what it is, but bright under eyes. Kim Kardashian and all that did this so long ago, but I realized that it actually makes such a difference to how you look when you have really, really bright under eyes and no dark under eye circles. So I just like pack the white just here. It's crazy to see the difference this makes when you have no like purple coming through. I also take a little bit of that white powder along the side of my nose because it's like kind of crooked there. So then it kind of like straightens it. I don't know. I feel like it does but so now, anyway, on to eyes. So I'm taking the Morphe Madison Bear Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. If you can't get your hands on it, maybe check out like eBay or something. It's got all the shades you need, apart from my black that had fallen out. And what I used to do is I used to sweep back and forth in the crease and leave like lots of like white down here. But now I don't do that anymore. Because I was like looking back at videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so uneven. So a way to avoid uneven eyeshadow is just like pack the whole lid with the same color and then you can't go wrong. And this is a nice like brown shade, like an orangey brown and I feel like if you have blue eyes this really like makes them stand out. But what you want to do is like really wing it up towards your brow like this. Then what I do is take this rose gold color. It's always nice to take a little bit of sparkle on your lid and it will just draw attention to the eye. So this is a nice like rose gold color. I always add some on the upper lid and then you want to do the inner corner and like point it out. Anyway, I'm going to take mascara now. So I'm using the Wonder Extension Lash Effect Mascara by Remore. I really like this one. This one's really cool. I love the packaging. Like really pack my lashes with this. Okay, now I'm putting it on the bottom lashes. But what I'm doing is I'm like really flicking it towards the outside of my face. So it just like adds to the cat eye effect. Um, anyway, now I'm taking the NARS Persia eyeshadow. Just take like a really orange shade. Um, I think this really makes the eye stand out. Um, and I just really want to like wing this. Really follow this out like that. And then I just take a little bit and then like kind of brush some under the eye. Okay, now for lashes, I'm just taking the Adele Demi Wispies. I cut them in half and just get some that are like quite wispy and are slightly longer on the outer corner and shorter on the inner corner. So what you want to do is put the lash right on the outer corner of the eye. Like this. Just press it in and this will give you like a cat eyelash. Now for lips, you want to overdraw them. So... I reckon bigger lips. I don't know. I just feel like it looks good on everybody. By the way, I'm using the MAC Whirl Lip Liner. Um, I always use a dark one and then I go lighter in the middle. Okay, so after lining the lips with the MAC Whirl Lip Liner, I'm now taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. So what I do is I fill in this lip liner all in the center. Then I take that lipstick and I... Pat it down and then I take this really awesome plumping lip gloss. This is called the Makeup Revolution Pout Bomb. This is their plumping lip gloss with vitamin E and it's in the shade Kiss. I love this and it like gets all like tingly on your lips and 
Yeah, apparently it's plumping. So I really like how shiny this is as well. And what I do to give my face even more of a lift is I take the white eyeshadow and I just kind of put some here and it just, I don't know. But my last step is fake freckles. Now this isn't for everybody, but I, I don't know what it is. When I see somebody with fake freckles, I think it looks so pretty and cute. But I'm taking the Benefit Brow Microfilling Pen. This is in the shade Blonde. So this is actually for brows, but I use it for freckles. So anyway, I just dot it on. And tap, and I just do a few of these. And I make sure like I get it into my biggest pores as well and it just disguises them. Now what I like to do is take the Benefit Professional Super Setter. Apparently this reduces pores and it locks your makeup in place and it softens the look of pores and it feels weightless. So I'm going to put this on. I really drown myself in that and then... Whew, let it dry for like a minute. So this is the makeup all done. I know it looks crazy different compared to the start of the video, but now I'm gonna fix this hair because I feel like hair makes such a big difference in how you look like as well. I'm gonna take the Kerastase Fresh Affair Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This one is amazing. It doesn't like give a sticky feel or it doesn't like pack your hair with like white like residue and it smells really good. Um, I got this from my hairdresser. I really like the slick look, but I'm not just going to do like fully slick. I like a little bit of hair out in the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do is my favorite hairstyle at the moment. And it's good because you can also like see all my earrings better. So take a middle part. I feel like this hairstyle looks flaring on everyone as well. Take a big strand of hair like this or more. I like the more the merrier. And the good thing about wearing your hair up as well is that if you pull it back tight, you can like give yourself a little bit of a face lift because you're like pulling your hair back but it doesn't matter if your hair is like super greasy for this look because you're just flattening the hair back adds to the um fox eye look we will like tidy all this up later but you want to grab a claw these always look so cute and so on trend so i feel like everybody should use one of these i don't know i've been using it for so long now these hair claws it's like all I ever wear and it's good if you have like like unwashed hair like me today because it's just all disguised. I don't have any brow slicker at the moment so I'm just using this Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel. It's another tip if you don't have slicker um, and I'm just brushing this back. It's just really to brush the hairs in place. And mine is working much easier because I have greasy hair. And your hair straightener, so I've got mine here. I've got the GHD Platinum Plus. You can go on Beauty Bliss NZ to buy these. They've got a lot of like curling wands and straighteners and stuff on there. I'm going to grab the hair strand, take it flat and just curl like that and I took it flat because it really like flattens this piece out in it and you want this to come like out by your brow so it's not like hiding any of your eyebrow and then you want to just take it and then like separate it into two pieces that's probably why my fringe is going to be damaged though because I like always curl it now Whoop. now with this if you have a crooked hairline like me like I don't have all my hair is like starting evenly so I take this micro pencil and I just draw in the hairline hair strokes it's genius so here's the finished makeup and hair look I feel like I look so different compared to the beginning of the video I just feel so much more myself and more pretty and beautiful and 
I don't know, my confidence just like skyrocketed. It always does that when I wear makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys will learn some tips from this video and apply it to your makeup routine. My makeup game is very strong. It like definitely enhances my features and doesn't take them away. I can't get over how much like straighter my nose looks. Like, it probably doesn't look like it in here, but in real life it looks straight out okay. Remember to go and check out Anna Luisa as well for their Mother's Day sale. Buy one and get one 40% off. That is such a good deal. Go and spoil your mum for Mother's Day and make it known that she means a lot to you and that you appreciate her. Go and check it out. I'll leave my link down below in the description box if you want to go and shop for your mum or for yourself and feel glam and pretty when you wear jewelry i don't know i just feel like it like does up an outfit as well i just love my jewelry so much and i love how i've got this matching necklace to my bracelet now it is so cute so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 5 a.m new zealand time um i know this was like an extra video of the week um but this was a sponsored video so that is why it's a uh, added bonus for you guys but don't forget to like this video if you did and don't forget to let me know down below what videos you want to see from me next i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you in my next week's video bye